Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. Today I'm super excited, I think I'm always super excited to film, but we are going to be testing out the Soap Does Nails Makeup Revolution um, collab palettes. Uh, I'm super late to the game filming this video, but I know that a lot of you guys love Makeup Revolution, which is why you're subscribed to the channel, because I do a lot of Makeup Revolution videos, and so I thought you would appreciate hearing my opinion on these palettes. So yeah, this is the eyeshadow palette, beautiful packaging, has 24 ultra professional eyeshadows, mine is clearly very dirty because I've just done this look with it, but this is what it looks like inside. So many colours, so many different looks that you can create. It's unfortunate that I can only show you one today. But if you do want to see more looks with the palette, definitely let me know down below and I'll film another couple of tutorials in the next coming weeks. This is Sophie's highlighter palette, which again, beautiful packaging. Comes with eight highlighters. It's kind of like the Ultra Pro Glow one, but I think it's a little bit smaller. And obviously it's different shades. So yeah, I'm going to be reviewing both of these today. I'll be showing you this eye look and using the highlighter on my cheeks. It's not a totally in-depth review, but you will see me use the products. So if you are excited by the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss more videos. Hit the little bell notification and let's get started. As always, I have already picked my eyes with Butter Rude Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Now, this is what the inside of the Soph palette looks like. Before filming, I did think in my head, I'm going to use like the greeny olive shade. Now that I've looked at it though, this purple is completely screaming my name. Like, I just really want to use that, but I don't know what I want to do with it. This is so difficult. I know you guys have already seen the finished look, so hopefully it turned out good. I tried to stay away from everybody else's tutorials and reviews of this palette because I didn't want it to influence my review or what I was going to do with it. I'm going to take this shade here, which is a nice kind of neutral browny toppy shade. Just going to apply that through the crease and up towards the brow bone. It doesn't smell much of anything and usually I always say that the Makeup Revolution palettes smell like the little alien babies that you used to get when you were younger. Don't know, if you're around about my age you'll probably know what those are or a little bit older. But I used to rub them together and try and make babies with them. <laughs> I don't think anybody ever successfully made an alien baby out of two aliens but Hey, if you did, let me know down below in the comments. This is a really nice shade. It would probably actually be quite a good contour powder. So, maybe I'll try that out one time. I'm going to actually put my hair up because it's really annoying me. And I'm going to deepen up the crease with this colour here. I know it doesn't look like it will darken it up, but once it goes on, you'll see that it'll give it another kind of dimension. And it'll kind of make it look a little bit more yellowy and mustardy just give it a nicer look also I'll kind of go with my cardigan as well this cardigan is from Primark if any of you guys are wondering I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush to blend out the edges just so that there's no harsh lines now I'm just going to go for it now I really have no idea what I'm doing with this look fingers crossed it turns out okay I'm going to use the purple shade which is totally drawing my name Drawing my name? Totally shouting out my name. Just using this with a little spongy applicator and we're going to pack this all over the eyelid. Oh my god, this is such a pretty shade. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. I really like that. It's kind of purple but kind of like a fuchsia pink at the same time. It's very nice. Very pigmented. These are really also very easy to blend, great quality. As always with Makeup Revolution, I mean everything I've tried is really good quality. So well done Sophie and well done Makeup Revolution, you did a really good job with this palette. I mean I'm saying that, I've only used three colours but still, <laughs> I think they've done a good job. I'm just going to blend that out with the colours in the crease. I'm going to probably take some of my finger actually and pop it on. Thing, I am going to use this shade here. It's kind of like a dual chrome, like it's sort of blue but sort of brown at the same time. I'm just going to go for that and put that on the outer V of the eye and see what that looks like. 
just to see if it will darken it up. No, I'm not sure that that was the best choice. Let's just go in with this matte brown shade here and pop that on the outer corner of the eye. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that brown is pigmented. Just going to do the same on the other eye and then I'll be right back. Don't worry about the edges or anything because we can clean that up with our foundation and concealer if you're doing this look anyway and you're smoky and messy it doesn't really matter at all so i think because it's so dark i definitely want to take like a black smoky eyeshadow on the um lash line don't think i want to do eyeliner so yeah i'm going to take i mean uh, this does look black but i don't know if it's going to be that black let's test it <gasps> actually whew, i didn't think it'd be as black as that i thought it was going to come out like do you know one of those kind of grey black colours and a lot of eyeshadow palettes that's what the black turns out like but I hold my hands up I was wrong this is actually a very good black so I'm just going to use that on an angled liner brush to put on my lash line just kind of smoke it out a little bit make sure ash, ash line this makes your lash line seem a little bit more thicker more defined and then it just kind of frames your eyes better as well Perfect. Looks like I've got two black eyes just now, but that's going to be fine. Once we do a little bit of mascara and clean it all up, it's going to look great, I hope. So I've finally got a new tube of mascara. This is the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline. I need to take this little plastic bit off it. Ugh, does anybody else totally struggle with taking the plastic off? I know I'm, I'm just know I'm going to break a nail. Is it really worth it to break a nail because of your mascara? No. Do you know what? This is why I have a husband. He'll get off for me. He got it. Okay, now that the mascara's on, I'm gonna go off and do my foundation and like concealer and stuff, my eyebrows, contour, just because you guys have seen me do that a bunch of times and I'm not using any different products than I did in my last makeup tutorial. Okay, for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Pound Shop bronzer. Is it Poundland? Pound World? Poundland, I think it is. This is by Makeup Gallery and it is in the shade Matte Light 1. I actually really like this bronzer. It gives a really nice glow to the skin. It's a lovely colour and it's not too much. You can't really overdo it with this one, which is really good. I'm going to use the Real Techniques brush uh, 103. This is huge and perfect for doing bronzer. Perfect. Especially on your neck if you want to bronze up your neck, which I will do as well. I realised that I told you guys I'd do contour off camera, but I put my contour on after I do my bronzer, so we're going to do that on camera. Obviously you guys know what I'm going to use, because I use it all the time, the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. Oh, my eyebrows are so uneven today. Guys, I'm having such a struggle. They're not even, they're not even related today. They're defo falling out. I've had a big fallout all over my face. Let's ignore these eyebrows. Okay, on to contour with the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder as per always. Let's finish off the eyes before we do highlighter. So I do want to add a little bit of shimmer under my brow bone and I'm going to use this one here. It's kind of like a goldy creamy shade. Looks very pretty so I'm just going to apply that with my finger. Oh, that is nice very pigmented. I'm going to apply that in the inner corners of my eyes too. Just use a little brush for that because my finger's too big with my nails. Does anybody else get like that when their nails go to a certain point? You just can't use your fingers to put on makeup anymore because the nails just get in the way. Especially with like cream products, like you're trying to like scoop it out but it goes all under your nail. It's actually disgusting. Okay, for the lower lash line, like I said earlier, we're going to take this beautiful olive green shade. I really hope this is going to work out. I'm not going to put any other colour down, I don't think. I'm just going to pack this on the brush and run it underneath the lash line. This might not be the right brush for this. If not, right, okay. Next idea. Okay, that was definitely not the right brush, nothing went on, so I'm going to take an angled liner brush, pick some of that colour up and put that on with this one, hopefully it goes on. Yay, it's working! This is actually looking quite nice. 
I'm surprising myself, like I had no faith in myself whatsoever. <laughs> Once that's on, I'm just going to use the angled, eh, not the angled, sorry, the um, pencil brush just to blend it out a little bit. Oh, I actually think that looks really pretty. I'm loving that. It makes my eyes look blue and actually one of my lovely subscribers called Donna and a lot of you other guys ask me if my eyes are blue but they're actually green. I know sometimes the camera makes them look blue but they're a really, really bright green colour. Um, however, today they are looking a little blue. Okay, I think that's me. I'm going to put some mascara on the lower lash line now. Well, not the lower lash line. The lower lashes. The mirror on that palette is so good as well. It makes it so easy to apply your makeup on the go and I really appreciate a good mirror in a product because obviously I do film makeup tutorials and I don't have a mirror to like hold in my hand whilst holding the product. So big thumbs up from me for that point. It's time to move on to highlighter. I'm so excited to do so. I have used this palette before but I think I've only used this shade here. I think I'm going to dip into that and maybe even mix it with a little bit of this. This is my favourite brush to use for highlighters as well. It's from Beauty Bay bang and it comes in a set they're really affordable it's so pretty and it's really good for putting on highlighter wow oh my god well if there's one thing that sophie could make it would be a highlighter palette her highlighter is always so bright so this doesn't even surprise me that this is glowing gee you should be able to see me from the moon Holy moly. Let me just try and blend it out. This is so pigmented. So pigmented. <laughs> Man MUA. Any of the Man MUA fans out there? Right. That is a 10 out of 10 right away. I guess you would uh, guess you'd know that. Obviously this is not a full review of the products because I'm not showing you swatches or anything. But I'm just testing them live on camera, giving you my opinion. So far, so good. For blusher, using the Too Faced. Um, love flush brush blah, blah, blah. I'm using the Too Faced Love Flush Blusher, that's hard to say, in the shade Baby Love. This is a long lasting 16 plus hour blush. It's like kind of just a muted pinky mauve shade. This brush is also from Beauty Big Bangs, it's another one that came in the set, it's so nice. Also, just a little tip, the reason that I put on um, bronzer then contour then highlighter then blusher is because the blusher goes up the middle blends both of them together so that you've not got like contour blusher highlighter like it all kind of blends in together so if you're finding that you have three strips of colour on your cheeks try and switching it up and doing it that way so your bronzer first then contour then highlight and then blend it through with your blusher so put most of your blusher on your cheek and then pull it back and blend it in and it just looks really seamless then and yeah all blended. I'm so sad that we're nearly at the end of this video because I've actually super enjoyed myself like filming this. The eyes look so nice. I love it. I really love it. I'm so I, hope, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial. But now I'm really stumped on what to do on my lip. I'm going to try this one. This is the Primark um, Instagirl Diamond Lip Topper Shimmering Gloss to Alter Any Lip Shade. I think that looks alright. I don't know if it looks a bit plain. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this lipstick. I think it's from 29 Cosmetics. Let's see. Um 29 Luxury Goods. And it's a grapeseed age protecting lipstick in the shade Ripe Rose. I'm just gonna put it over the top of the glossiness. Yeah, that just gives it a little bit of a colour. Still really glossy, which is good because I really wanted a glossy lip with this look. Overall, I think you can guess what my opinion on these palettes are. They're both brilliant. Eyeshadows, great pigmentation, super blendable. There's a lot of them, so a lot of looks, very affordable. Can't remember how much these palettes are because I bought them ages ago, but I'll have listed all the information and the link to buy them in the description box below. The highlighter palette, without a doubt, is one of the glowiest highlighters I've ever used. I can hand on heart say that, and I'm a highlighter hoarder. So yeah, it's pretty darn good. Um, definitely pick yourself these palettes up. 
if you've got a little bit of spare cash after Christmas. So I really, really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the makeup look. Um, if you do want to recreate it, then please tag me on Instagram or Twitter or send me a little picture on Snapchat. All of my social media links are going to be down below in the description box. Also, if you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. It would make me so, so happy if you subscribed. The next target is 6,000 and we're almost there, guys. We're only a couple of hundred away, which is a massive number, but still, we're only a couple of hundred away, so fingers crossed. Let's get everything crossed. Arms, hands, cross it all. Let's get to 6K and hit the 10K target by the end of this year. I want to say a huge big thank you for watching and for all the lovely support and comments that I've been getting recently. It really makes my day to see that you guys enjoy the videos. So yeah, thank you again and I will see you on... Hmm. If this video goes up on Wednesday, I'll see you on Sunday. If it goes up on Sunday, then I'll see you on Wednesday with another video. Bye!